All right, so we've seen some references and we see some pointers, but now we're going to take a break from that and we're going to um learn something new, completely new. <clears throat> so, but later on once you learn this thing, we're going to we're going to start to weave references and classes and structs together coherently now. First, we're going to start adding structure to our program. So if you ever think, let's say we think of an object, let's say a, uh, a cardboard box, a three-dimensional box, we can't describe that object with just a double type or an integer type. <clears throat> it's going to have a height, a width, a depth, a material. It's going to, it's going to have all these things to it. Or if you take a person, you know, you can't just describe a person by a number. You can't just give them a number and then know exactly what they look like or exactly what they what they do or if you have a character on a game you know characters will have hit points characters will have speed characters will probably have ammunition weapons there's all these things going on characters will have an inventory but let's just start off with a box okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna learn something called a struct now, a before I get started here, a struct and a class are very, very similar. Okay, but first let's just start off with struct. So, okay. So first I'm going to type in the keyword struct. Okay. Now I get the n now I get the name of my struct here. So right now I'm kind of leaving you in the blue. Right now, but let me finish this up and then. We'll catch you back up here. So I'm going to type instruct. I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be an arbitrary name. In this case, I want to call mine a box. A capital B. Okay. Next, I'm going to use an opening and a closing brace. And then what's different about this is that these will always end with a semicolon here. Now, what we haven't seen before syntax-wise is that semicolons normally don't go at the end of braces. So, when we deal with uh, classes and structs, we're going to be putting semicolons on the end of these um, <clears throat> braces here. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, <clears throat> give um, some properties of a, a box. So we, in this case, I only want my box. The box is going to have a height, a width, and a depth. And that's it. And I could also And here we go. So so right now we have a height, a width, and a depth. Now we cannot initialize these because there will be some errors, okay? So so let's figure out what these do here. So now we've already seen that we have a double type. We've already seen, you know, doubles. We've seen ints, we've seen chars. We have even seen a string. Now, this is coming from the string library, but we have seen this before. If I spell it right, we have seen this before as long as this is coming from uh, the right library. But let's not go over that right now. What we have just created is our own variable type. <clears throat> now let's look at this here. So instead of using um, a string or a uh, char, I'm going to use box. Now obviously it's not a keyword, but it is the same thing as, as this type here. So I have a, a new type called box. Now I'm going to call my box something. I'm going to give it a name. So just like a when I make a double variable, 
I have to give it a name such as X or Smart. And I'm going to call this one, um, I'm going to call this one, um, Me. So that's the name of the box, it's called Me. Okay. So what is exactly is this going to be doing here? So I, I created a box here using this struct here. And a box only has a height, a width, and a depth here. So what I can do, I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to use this box as me. Dot height is equal to 5. I can access these variables with something called the dot operator. And actually, I want to call this length to, av to uh, avoid some uh, maybe visualization issues. Okay. And I can use these variables whenever I'd like. And I can add them together. Maybe such as this. We get 12. So we can actually use these variables through height. So we can make boxes here. <coughs> and um, we can also call, we can also make functions inside this here. So we can use these, we can make any variables we would like. We can even add more. Like I can say, make a character and give it a character. So let's say label. But we, we don't initialize these. We cannot put values on these. And we and now we can use the if I wanted to the me dot me dot label. And I can give it a <clears throat> so what does a struct do? We can group together a bunch of variables to a common object. In this case our object would be a box and it has four different variables. It has three double types and a char type. So now we'll we will see how these will work in the next couple tutorials here, but I'm taking this uh a little a little slow. We're at seven minutes, so I'm just I'm just introducing you introducing you to the um, variables that we can add. So we can add all kinds of variables to these. Now we can't just say now we can <coughs> later on in the code we can say like box um you. And we can have two different boxes here. So I have right now I have initialized two different boxes. Then I can say you dot height is equal to 20. I can give so there's two different boxes. This one here has a different height than this one. So remember this is just like a variable type. And I can't say box dot height. Or I can't say box equals 20 or box equals 30. You know, it's kind of like saying if I had int equals 50, you know, we wouldn't know what that meant. So we have to give we have to give it a name. It's, so this is of the type box. So this box here is a, it's kind of, you can think of it as a wrapper around these four variables that are associated with it. So when I create a box variable, I create three double types and a label and a char type. That's what happens when I create a, um, a struct type. So this is this is all I kind I wanted to get started out with. So we're going to be talking a lot about classes in these next several videos. So right now, just examine the syntax of this code, see what's going on, and uh, we will see how we can use these later on here. So we'll just pay attention to the dot operator. So I, I pick the name of the box I want to use dot and then I pick a variable so 
<sighs> and we can change all these values whenever we'd like, and we can use these values with just like anything else here. Like I can output two times me plus length. So two times the width plus the length, so I'd say like 10 plus 7, which is 17. But we, yeah, these are just an, another variable that we can use. So we will see how we can use objects later on. And next we might be, we will, well actually we will be when we get to our, to our graphical type stuff. Uh, we're going to be making characters and they're going to have hit points and they're going to have speed. They might have a couple of the things, but I don't want to get too, uh, I don't want to add too many things to a character type. And we can give character names like John or, or anything that we would like. But we'll see, we'll see what's going on in the next tutorial. So pay attention to the syntax here. We make a struct, a box, and look, look at the semicolon here. This goes at the end of here. And we can make variables in here, but we can't initialize them. So we'll learn how to do that later on. So that's all I have to say in this video. And uh, let's move on to a little bit more on classes.